This question is from gate 2014 mechanical engineering paper set 4 question number 23 better surface finish is obtained with a large rake angle because option a the area of shear plane decreases resulting in the decrease in shear force and cutting force option b the tool becomes thinner and the cutting force is reduced option c less heat is accumulated in the cutting zone or option d the friction between the chip and the tool is less let's see what the answer is now according to merchant theory shear angle is given as phi is equal to rake angle alpha by 2 minus friction angle beta by 2 plus pi by 4 this is the expression for shear angle now from this expression we can see that as alpha increases the shear angle will increase and as the shear angle increases friction at the chip tool interface will decrease because less friction will be applicable as the shear angle increases now as the friction will decrease the cutting force that was required earlier less amount of cutting force will be required now so therefore less shear force and cutting force are required the shear plane area will also reduce hence and the chip will become more thinner so from all these points we can identify our answer the correct option let's go back the correct option is as there is a increase in rake angle that is we have a large rake angle the area of shear plane decreases resulting in decrease in shear force and cutting force this is our answer option b is wrong because tool becomes thinner that's wrong because tool doesn't become thinner chip becomes thinner and cutting force is reduced is correct but tool doesn't become thinner option c less heat is accumulated in the cutting zone so this large rake angle has a direct relation with the shear force and the cutting force and uh, area of shear plane not the heat accumulated in cutting zone that is a indirect effect and option d friction between the chip and the tool is less that is true that friction is less but option a is more correct to learn more about surface roughness and surface finishing you can refer to the nptel video basics of surface roughness from the course of metrology this course is by professor dr kanakuppi sadashivappa he is from department of industrial and production technology of bapuji institute of engineering i hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt thank you